Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapniewski, your crypto queen. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. Please know that this is not financial advice. I'm only here to entertain you, but I will say this. Try to only buy on those red candles. Let me just say that I've never seen anything like this. The past couple of days, I've gotten endless messages about a token called ShipToro. Comments just basically littering every single video that I'm doing. Somebody even reached out to me through my email and said, hey, take a look at ShipToro. So what do I do whenever I get a request like that? I love to research things. So I looked at the website. I wasn't impressed with what I saw. It didn't look like the devs were docs. There wasn't a whole lot of information there on the website. It didn't look like they had an audit or that they had white papers. So I told the guy that emailed me, listen, stay away from it. If you've gotten any money in it and you've made anything, dump it and consider yourself lucky. Stay away from it. But the requests, they just keep on coming. And somebody actually DM me on Twitter today to say, hey, take a look at ChipToro. And I said, I looked at ChipToro and I didn't like what I saw. And then they said, look again. And I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, how much could possibly change in two days? Apparently, everything. All right, just sit down and make yourself comfy because mama's going to tell you a story. So there's two main devs on the ShipToro team. One dev has been in crypto for about 12 years and the other guy, you know, he's kind of a rookie at it, but he's doing the best he can. Apparently, the rookie guy was the one that made the website that was not very appealing. He didn't understand what people are looking for when they're deciding to invest in a particular token. But the other guy, I mean, he can't do everything. You know, you have to delegate certain things, especially when you're a dev. You're super busy. It's more than you think it is. Now, you might be wondering how I know all of this. And the answer is, I actually spoke to the dev on Telegram today, and he gave me the backstory of the token. And I love ShibToro. If you go now to the website, they do have their white papers posted, they've been audited, they've passed their audit, and the devs are doxxed through KYC. Those are always the very top things that I look for. I'm glad he made the time because he explained a lot to me, and this is why I've changed my position on ShipToro. Number one, I wanted to clarify, why did you get such a crappy score on Token Sniffer? We all know there's problems there with the Token Sniffer algorithm. Number one, their contract is not renounced. That's a problem with Token Sniffer. Sniffer. Number two, they're doing some bots. That's another huge thing with Token Sniffer. My second question was, why are your taxes so high? 15%? Like, that's that's pretty high taxes. 5% of those taxes automatically are going to go to a charity once a month. They're going to put out a poll either on Telegram or Twitter, and the community is going to vote. Who's going to get the money? What charity is it going to go to? 5% going to charity? That's an awful lot. But I said to him, listen, you can't just be a charity token. Somewhere along the line, you have to have a certain amount of utility. I'm just putting it out that we are a charity token as of right now. But eventually, we are going to do NFTs and we are going to have a swap. But I'm letting people know that's down the road. I don't want to say we're going to do a swap and we're going to do this and that and a complete NFT collection. And if it's not done in the next quarter, people get upset, depressed, and they dump the token. That's smart. I think it's really good to temper expectations because if you put all of this stuff out there, people want to know when it's going to be done. A week goes by and they're like, where's our swap? Where's the NFT collection? Because right now what they're looking to do is build a very strong community. He's like, I could release a really great NFT collection, but if there's not a community there, who's going to buy the NFTs? They're just going to sit there stagnant. I want to have a huge community, a huge following, and once we drop those NFTs, they're going to be a hot commodity. And he's right. So the big news for ShipToro is that it's being released on Hotbit tomorrow, February 24th, and then a few days later on BKX. Listen, they're not the best exchanges, I know, but for a token that's only five days old, like at least they have momentum. They're moving this thing forward. Before we jump into the website and take a look at everything that's posted there, I just want to talk about a big initiative that they're going to push. It's actually going to be backed by one of their main investors. It's a charity initiative that has to do with single mothers teaching them about cryptocurrency and how to become financially independent through cryptocurrency. I think that's a really good thing. Number one, it's going to help these women. And number two, it's going to bring more women into cryptocurrency because God knows there's not enough of us here right now. All right, and enough of me yakking. Let's get to the website. ShipToro is a highly deflationary token on the ERC Ethereum blockchain. 1% of each transaction from every buy and sell will automatically be burned to continuously reduce the supply. This will ensure that the tokens you hold become more desirable and valuable. 
And in the next paragraph, they talk about that 5% and how it's going to be given away every month to a charity that the community is going to vote on. The next part, which is really good, we have coded our contract to automatically add 2% of every buy and sell to the liquidity pool to forever strengthen the floor. As we grow and the liquidity grows, this will ensure bigger sells have less impact on the price to better protect your investment. While charity is going to be one of our main focuses, we also plan to design and release an NFT line. And as I'd mentioned, that's going to be down the line after the community gets a lot bigger. While holding ShipToro, investors will receive a passive income of 3% of reflections on every buy and sell. So here's the big part where they talk about not throwing out empty promises out there. So take a listen. From what we have seen over the course of the past year, many projects over promise and under deliver. And that's what we are not going to do as this has hurt many projects and investors. We would rather under promise and over deliver. And right down here, we can see that they've been KYC'd and they do have that certificate posted on GitHub. And now we come down to the taxes. And as I said before, they are a 15% tax. 5% goes to marketing, 4% to development, 3% to reflections, 2% to liquidity, and 1% will automatically be burned. But don't forget that 5% of that is going to the charities. It's not actually going to a marketing or development. It's going to people in need. One of the things that I did ask the dev because I don't see it posted here. Exactly what is your token supply? They started off with 69 sextillion tokens. 17% of which have already been burned. So within the seven days that they've been launched, they've already burned two and a half million dollars worth of tokens. Now let's take a quick peek at their roadmap. Phase one has been completed. They've checked some things off phase two and phase three and four, they're all coming up. Like every other website, they give you a brief explanation as to how you can purchase the token through a wallet. I recommend that you grab the token contract address above where it says tokenomics, because I did notice on Dex Tools, there's already a couple of honeypots, a couple of different tokens named ShipToro. Make sure you're buying the right one. If you buy the wrong token, that's a honeypot. You can only buy, you can't sell, and you'll never see your money again. They do have their white papers posted, and like a lot of other tokens, there's not a whole heck of a lot of new information on the white papers, with the exception that their liquidity has been locked for one year and that they do not plan to renounce their contract because they think it would hurt their tokenomics. This is what he told me about their swap, the ShipToro swap. There is going to be a fee to get on their ShipToro swap and with the fee, 90% of that is going to go to token burns and 10% of that is going to go to charity. But Remember what I said, this is going to be much further down the road. This is not something that's going to pop up in a month or two. If you're someone that doesn't mind playing the long play, you don't mind waiting a few months for things to get up and going. You're going to be chilling, just marinating in your own juices. You don't need earth shattering news to be popping out on Twitter every single week. This is a good token for you. If you don't mind, if you have patience and you're playing the long game, this is a good token for you. If you're the kind of person that's trolling Twitter and you want news like 20 times a day, this probably is not going to be the right token for you to get into because these guys are just putting it out there being very transparent. Nothing's going to happen for a little bit, but eventually down the line, it will just hang in there with us. And that's the feeling that I get from ShipToro. I did purchase some ShipToro today. Not much, just a, a small little bag and I'll see where it goes. Just one of those tokens, wait and see. If anything new pops up, I'll let you know. But until then, I thank you so much for joining me. Remember, only buy on those red candles and please take care of yourself.